James Gandolfini's portrayal of Tony Soprano forever changed the kind of leading men American families root for in their living rooms. His character so often in trouble and causing trouble, and yet so many still found themselves pulling for him and his wife Carmela. Here's ABC's Dan Harris in New Jersey, where Gandolfini grew up. It was the war inside Tony Soprano that made this character so riveting. A mob boss who sees a shrink. But what are you going to do? It's the human condition. A loving father. Someday soon, you're going to have families of your own. And if you're lucky, you'll remember the little moments. Cheers. Who occasionally kills people. Gandolfini played him as a bear, a boar, a pig, but also a pussycat. The miracle of Tony Soprano was that no matter how many abominable things he did, we still cared about him. I have some dark moments, and I think it's, it's, um, it's useful that I, I have a place to put them. It's channeled into creativity. On-screen mobsters have been around for decades, but this was something brand new. God forgive you! There is no God. Hey! We saw college trips with his daughter, his fascination with ducks, his morning ritual of fetching the paper. Today at the house here in New Jersey that served as the Soprano family residence on the show, there is a real family in residence. And that newspaper that Tony picked up every morning, the Star Ledger, his face is on the front page. A tribute to a man who ushered in what's been called the golden age of television. Every time you are fascinated by cable TV anti-heroes like Don Draper, Walter White, or Dexter Morgan, you've got Tony Soprano and James Gandolfini to thank. Dan Harris, ABC News, North Caldwell, New Jersey. Dan Harris at the home where so much of it played out. Our thoughts and prayers with his family tonight. And Gandolfini's 13-year-old son, his nine-month-old daughter included. And as I mentioned here a moment ago, an outpouring growing tonight from his on-screen family as well, Jamie Lynn Sigler, who played Tony Soprano's daughter, saying Gandolfini had the ability to make you feel like everything would be all right if he was around. Gandolfini's on-screen wife, Edie Falco, today saying she is, quote, devastated, calling their time together intense and beautiful, saying the love between Tony and Carmela was one of the greatest loves I've ever known.